Section 2 From Grapevine to Wine What is wine? Wine is the product obtained by the alcoholic fermentation of grapes and it must be obtained from the Vitis vinifera. We mention Vitis vinifera because it is the only one able to produce wine. All the other kinds are considered harmful to health since during the alcoholic fermentation they would produce too high an amount of methanol and would be considered as poison. The methanol produced by alcoholic beverages obtained from vines not suitable to make wine uh, may cause serious physical disorders including blindness and in large amounts it can even cause death. It is better to avoid drinking wines produced by unprofessional farmers or friends who like to play at being farmers because uh, they are probably not particularly informed about the serious damage that a simple carelessness or lack of knowledge may cause. The Cycles of Vines The grape vines in their first two years of life do not produce anything significant. From three to five years the productivity increases a lot and steadily until about 30 years of age. Around 40 years old the vines are considered old, the production of grapes is drastically reduced and generally they are replaced with new grape vines. In some cases they don't get uh, swapped for experimental or emotional reasons and farmers just decide to keep those plants of advanced age, sometimes even centuries old and with a limited yield, which can produce very little wine but surely very special. Composition of grapes The plant of vines produces grapes. The bunches are composed by the stalk, uh, which is the breed of wood that supports the grapes. Any grape is made by the skin, which contains the pulp and the seeds. Depending on the type of wine to be produced, all these elements can be used or just some of them. Quest for quality directly in the vineyard. In addition to the care of vines, the use of non-aggressive fertilizers, pruning and exposure to improve the quality of wine starting from the vineyard. In a certain moment of the ripening, some bunches are cut off to convey only to the few remaining bunches all the resources that the plant would have given to all the others, thereby increasing sugars, glycerides, polyphenols, anthocyanins or leucantocyanins and all the other sensory elements. This practice surely increases the quality but significantly decreases the yield of the vineyard in terms of quantity and also increases the cost of the wine from the very beginning, but it will ensure much more noticeable features. Wine Rest Extinction A brief historical fact relates to an event that happened in 1856, when within a load of timber from the American continent, Phylloxera first reached Europe. Phylloxera is a terrible parasitic pest that attacks the root of the vine until they die. If no one had intervened rapidly, in a short time the entire world wine heritage would have permanently been lost. Thanks to the culture of monks and abbots who acted like the biblical Noah's Ark, a considerable amount of wine samples have been saved, growing them on sandy soils where phylloxera cannot attack. The definitive remedy was the final grafting of the European Vitis vinifera to the root of a specific American vine. This root is now defined rootstock. As time passed, it was discovered that there are other types of soil immune to phylloxera, such as volcanic soil. Wherever it is possible, the vines are planted with their original roots. Vines ensure better results in areas with a considerable temperature range between day and night, and they only grow between the 30th and the 50th latitude degree, both north and south of the hemisphere. The Champagne area is the exception, in fact despite it being positioned beyond the 50th latitude degree, thanks to its special microclimate and the deep crust of chalky soil that keeps the summer heat and gradually releases it during the colder months, it is possible to produce grapes. From this area comes the traditional method of sparkling wine which is most known and appreciated all over the world. The recent climate changes have slightly broken this ancient rule. 